G'day, uh, my name's Steve Denley. I'm from Balance Veterinary Care. Uh, I'm here today to show you uh, how to do moxibustion on your dog. So uh, what, what you'll need is uh, a lighter and you'll need uh, a moxa stick. And I've got here uh, a little bowl with some sand in it. That's to extinguish the stick at the end. Uh, there's probably two things to know about moxibustion. Uh, just from a safety point of view, and that it is very difficult to light the stick, and it's very difficult to extinguish it. It's, they will go out, just takes a little bit of time. So you have to make sure once you're finished that the stick is extinguished, and, and then, uh, then everything's safe. So what we need to do first is uh, ignite the stick. So we've got the stick here, uh, and we've got the lighter. So we'll peel off, I peel off the outer colored uh, paper. So you peel off the green and uh, gray, grey paper there and you leave the white underneath so uh, there we go here we peel it off that just makes it a little bit easier to ignite the stick so got the lighter now we'll, uh, we'll light it as I said it takes a little bit to, ig to ignite it so you keep it on there for a while and you'll see it glowing red and you'll see it starting to smoke So that's probably ignited now. We've we got any red embers? Yeah, I can feel the heat coming off that now. So you've got to be careful with the moxa. It will burn. So don't touch your skin. Don't touch the dog's skin with it. Um, and you'll find that it will be. You'll sit it there and you won't feel anything. And then suddenly, ow! It's really hot. So uh, now we'll get a dog and we'll do the moxa bustion on the dog. So here's Sadie here. So she's sitting nice and still. So the way I tend to do it, I wait till the camera focuses. So I usually put my hand on the dog and I'll, I'll aim, say, I'll aim the moxa stick between my fingers on the dog. That way your fingers, they will act as a gauge to know if the moxa stick is too hot. So you can, usually the best way to do it is what we call hen pecking. So often we'll do it on the dog's back. So I'll go like this on the dog's back. You try and keep the hair down because you may singe the hair. Uh, but if you keep it, it's usually about one to two centimetres away. And we'll usually get you to run it down the dog's back. That's one way of treating, but I may give different instructions on how to use the moxa stick. That's a girl. So I can just feel that on my fingers. It's not burning my fingers. That's a girl. We'll let her run away. So, um, and now extinguish the stick. So, all you need to do, pop it in the sand, twist it round till it goes out. And that's more than likely out. Still smoking, but there's no heat in it now. So, uh, that, that's all you need, need to do when you do moxibustion on your dog or your cat. Um, if you need any other advice, 